I do a lot of traveling and I always carry my cymbals with me. And I know if I go to a festival where there's a bunch of other drummers, almost every drummer has a bag of their own cymbals with them. But hardly anybody has their own drums. And I think the reason for that is that we can tune drums. We can change the heads on the drums. We can do a lot to personalize the sound of a drum set. But the sound of a cymbal is pretty fixed. And um, this is the sound, this is my sound. I can make these things into my sound. No matter what heads or how they're tuned when I arrive, I can get something happening here. If I get a cymbal that, that doesn't have the kind of uh, flowering sound that I want, then my time is going to feel differently to myself and to the people I play with than we're accustomed to. Now, you, you may hear this symbol and think, wow, that sure is washy. Well, I would rather have a symbol that I consider washy because I can put a little tape on it and make it a little drier, or I can change my touch and make it a little drier, or I can put another felt on the top and tighten it down and make it a little drier, but I can't make the symbol wetter. So I'm erring on the side of making it a little wetter maybe than I need, uh, because I can always adjust it if, if it feels like it's, it's too washy. But if it's too dry, there's almost nothing you can do to, to make it uh, sound bigger, uh, sound, sound richer. So I'm carrying my cymbals because there's so much range in cymbals that I might come upon created, uh, provided by a backline company that I might not find something that I'm comfortable with. And so drummers are always bringing their cymbals they're hardly ever, maybe some guys bring a bass drum pedal, maybe a snare drum, but everybody brings their own cymbals because that's part of their identity, that's part of their sound. And the touch and the spacing of the way they play on the cymbal is all part of the same thing. 